Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to talk about another in interesting integration provided by uh, Postman, right? So how you can integrate your Postman API requests and run it from a Docker container, right? So you have this Docker image provided by Postman, which you can uh, easily download. And then uh, inside that container, you can run your Postman API request and test. Right. So Docker, um, if you don't know about Docker, so it's a container, um, right, where you can actually package all your code and its dependencies at one place. And then you can deploy it or you can run it basically anywhere, right? So it's independent of environment. You can run it on a Linux, Windows, any machine. Uh, you just need the you just need uh, to have docker and then you just need to download that particular image and work with the container right so if uh, you don't have docker uh, in your machine so obviously um, the simple prerequisite for this particular video is uh, you have docker installed on your machine right so how do you verify that just type docker on your command line or command prompt Right, and it should give you all the different commands which are present for Docker. Right, if it says that uh, Docker is not an internal or external command, then probably you have not set it, set it up on your machine yet. And you can basically go to this website, docker.com slash products slash Docker desktop. Right, and here you will find uh, the, vers the different EXEs for uh, Windows and also for Mac OS, right? So you can easily download this. And once you download it, um, there will be a setup, right? And you can just follow along the instructions. It's a simple, very simple installation. So once Docker starts running um, on your on your icons, you can see uh, Docker desktop is running. And also you can verify that from the command prompt, right? So how do you how do you basically uh, run the Docker image, right? So there is there is a command which is provided by Docker, um, or you can say Postman, uh, which has placed that particular image on Docker uh, Hub, and you can easily download that. So what command you can use is Docker, and then you can say pull postman slash new man right so this is the command to pull the latest image for the postman um, new man com command line runner right so it will it will download the latest image from docker hub and then uh, your container will be set up so you can easily run a particular uh, collection from your Docker container, right? So for running a uh, collection from your Docker container, you can use the command docker run dash t and then postman slash newman. And then you can give run, right? And here uh, we'll be passing on the collection URL, right? So let's go back to our Postman. And for this, I'll be using this weather API, which we uh, created earlier, right? So in this collection, we have one request and let's go to that request. So this is our request. And basically, um, I have added two tests here, right? So these are basic tests. Uh, one is to uh, check the status code is 200 and another is to check whether the status code name has string okay. Okay, so these are the basic uh, two tests which I have uh, which I have uh, added. So if you are if you have not seen my previous videos and you don't know how to write your tests, so in Postman, you can write test using the JavaScript language. So we can write it on your own or you can use this snippets, right? So for, 
for uh, the code status code 200 you can just uh, click on this particular snippet status code is 200 and it will give you this particular test and for the other one which contains the string so you can use the code name has string snippet right so that's how um, i just change the status from created to okay right because this is a get request so this is how uh, you create your tests in postman and once you have this test right um, and you have the request so i'm not using any environment variables here uh, it's a direct url to get um, to um, send this get request and um, get the response body right so this is the app id uh, kind of token app token for my weather api and then this is the city name for which i want to get the weather right so once you send this um it will show your test results here uh, which is two by two which both passed and then in the response body you will see um, the weather details right so this is a simple api uh, api request for getting the weather for a certain location or a certain city and that uh, we have put in a collection right so no environment variables here i just want to uh, send this request as a simple request without any variables so how do you create um the public url for this collection right so you can go to uh, share collection here option right and here there is an option called get public link so go to there and you can either copy this link or you can also update the link to get the latest right um okay uh, so before that just let me save this um, request because i made a few changes so it's better to save so that it syncs across right and then um again go to share collection go to get public link and update the link copy the link and this link we are going to use in our command right so let's paste this link here and so this is the this is the whole command docker run uh, dash t postman newman then again run and this is the url of the collection right so uh, so this is basically our container postman dash newman uh, we are running the container inside the container again we are running this collection right so this collection url so let's enter and we will see whether it is able to run our api requests and the tests uh, from this particular collection okay so this is the same kind of results which you get when you run your collection from a command line using newman uh, the only difference here is we are running inside the docker container in instead of our own command line right so this is the weather api uh, we have a get request get weather by city right so these are the two tests status code is 200 and status code name as string uh, the status was 200 okay right um, we had one iteration we had one request we had two test scripts pre-request scripts uh, two assertions so all passed and this is the uh, results in a tabular format right so this simple example of how you can run your api requests from a docker container right so you just need to download the docker image and then start running your api request from the container in the form of collections right so you can use the collection url public url to run it inside a container so you can have any number of requests or any number of tests everything will run inside the container okay so uh, if you found this video interesting please like and share along if you have any questions um, or feedback please leave a comment and i will get back to you with um, answers also uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel qa script so that um, you can hook along um, these interesting videos which we post on a regular basis. 
so thanks for joining and we'll see you next in the next video